What's up, word nerds? It is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Welcome to Puzzle With Me. My name is Lawrence, and I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword. This is by Rich Prulks. And if you want to follow along, you can see the clues that I'm looking at highlighted in blue to the left of the grid. A weak hit uh, at one across. Not sure what that is. How about 15 Hindi for palace? Is that Mahal? Maybe? I don't know. X1, M2, and I3. Those must be uh, maybe BMWs. That's my guess there. Cowardly Lion Portrayer. Oh, this has come up before, but I cannot remember his name. Lima's Home. Peru? Is it not Mahal? Lima's Home. Lima's Peru, right? Uh, let's see. Non-dairy milk option. Oat or soy. That could be either of those. How about 21? Sign of a packed house. Standing room only. Okay, it's not Peru. Um, Lima. Hmm. <laughs> okay, and promise that one will. I'm not sure. Let's look at 18 across now. Worker designation coined by Upton Sinclair. Uh, boy, I do not know. Big hit. Weak hit followed by big hit. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, mischievous fairy. Is that like a, a nymph or something like that? It might be a nymph. What's eight down? Uh, wait, what's six down? Mushrooms produce them. Spores? Okay, maybe not a nymph. Seven down, children's author who wrote, people say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Uh, that sounds like it's something from like, uh, either maybe Roald Dahl or uh, the, whoever wrote The Phantom Tollbooth. I can't remember his name. He passed away last year, I think. Rose, uh, that's Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses. Oh, it's a pixie. Um, oh, maybe it's Milne, as in A.A. Uh, a. Milne. Cheap Thrill Singer is Sia. Big Hit is a Smash. There we go. That ship. Her. Uh, oh, white collar. There we go. Train units, cars. Confound it, darn. All right. Well, at least we got that area figured out. This is like, I don't know. Oh, is it Ohio? Okay, maybe it is Mahal. Oat milk, there we go. A weak hit is a... Hmm. Bloop. There we go. I feel like... Yeah, that's what I felt like. <laughs> Sorry. 11 across. Speak disrespectfully to... Sass, maybe? Uh, blank homo Nietzsche book. I don't know. Key that's never used alone that's never used alone. Uh, is this referencing those like uh, like the nuclear keys, you know, where you have to like turn two of them at the same time? I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. Disney Mermaid is Ariel. Gotta be. Rocky Debris. Hmm. Well, should maybe end in S? Well, not necessarily, I guess. Uh, what sex does they say? Sex sells. Lemon down scheme. Hmm. And twelve down important part. Okay. Twenty four across. Traditional folk song played by British and Australian ice cream trucks. Is it green? Is this just going to be like a colored theme? White collar, green, something. 
Uh, yeah, this is Pledge 2. Promise that one will. Pledge 2. I'm guessing this is going to start with N. Highlighter Shades. Highlighter Shades. Neons. Uh, prognosticate with a crystal ball. That is what? C or... If, you, if you're prognosticating with a crystal ball... What else could it be? Secular. Not sure. 23. That's Aer Lingus. How about 32 across? French trick taming trick taking game is is what? Hmm. Not sure there. Donut shapes. Donut shapes. Hmm. Okay, how about devoid of pleasure? Something less funless? Hapless? Plug receptacle. Plug receptacle. Jeez, okay. This is a little bit tough. First Native American tribe to meet with Lewis and Clark. I don't know. After quite some time. And 31 down, Verdi Opera, originally titled Amore e Morte, Love and Death. Oh boy, really bothered is eight at. And, oh, okay, so we have our, our revealer in the middle. Envy Source in Genesis 37 that hints at 18, 24, 49, and 58 across. Hmm. Envy source. I don't know my Bible stories very well. Steve with eight NBA championships. Uh, Steve. God, I don't know my basketball either. Plug receptacle. It's probably the Oto. Quite some time. Hmm. Donut shapes. Get ready. Maybe prep. Cherubic god is uh, maybe Eros. You there. Psst. Signs of saints are halos. Most likely to preen is something EST, right? Most likely is going to be an EST ending. Important part. Uh, something roll, right? Uh, acting roll? Or active roll, maybe? Like, as in playing an important part, playing an active role? Could be either of those. Key that's never used alone. Might not be. Rocky debris, green. Oh, green sleeves. I knew that. Okay, so it's a a color and a uh, a clothing reference. So far, at least, white collar, green sleeves. Um, uh, this could be colors. Right here. Secular. Oof. Jeez. Um, what was this? Scheme? Something plan. Scheme. Secret plan. Key that's never used alone. And... Hmm. Boy, I just do not know. I don't know this either, but this looks like it's active roll. I'm gonna go with active roll here. Uh, key that's never used alone. Control, ah, on the keyboard, of course. Rocky debris is probably scree. 
I don't know either of these, but I'm just Wheel of Fortuning here and just guessing it's gonna be another C there. Uh, okay. Let's see, prognosticate with a crystal ball. Or is, could prognost prognosticate, could that be a noun also, like prognosticate, as in seer? No, I'm uh, French donut shapes. Wait, this is tough. All right, uh, let's keep going. See what we've got. Line when you're late to the punchline. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Most likely to preen. Hmm. Vainest maybe. Freshly is a new. Upside when down. Upside when down is a silver lining. There we go. I like that clue. That's a very good clue for silver lining. And it's a nice phrase. Uh, let's see. Features of some bike helmets. Features of some uh, visors. Understood, I see. Frazier's brother on Frazier is uh, Niles, I think. Some sushi menu fish is yellow tails. Okay, so since there's lining and tails makes me think of like suits, maybe? Sleeves and collar, these are, could all be things on suits. Are these stat yards before to Shakespeare's heir? Simu. Uh, Simu. Is it drier with an I or drier with a Y? Drier? The Lorax author is Seuss. Simu Liu, that looks right. Uh, Santa Ana, California? I want to say non-studio film is an indie. A stun gun is a taser. Gives a hand is AIDS. Ballet bend is a plie. Employer is user. And this is the problem with a poo. Yes. Okay. Dog doc is a vet. There we go. Let's let's fill in this corner down here and then work our way back up to the middle. Carrots. Counterpart is stick. Complaining about social media on Facebook, say, is irony, maybe? Uh, yes, Kira Sedgwick there of the Closer. Tech review site is CNET. Letter after theta, I'm guessing is iota. Characteristic is trait. There we go. That corner filled in quite nicely. Uh, la... Oh, what is this? It's like La Treviata or something like that? Or La Traviata, Traviata, maybe, I want to say. After quite some time, uh, maybe years later. Ah, yes, this is joyless, now that I see the Y there. Devoid of pleasure is joyless. Plug receptacle. Steve, ah, a jack. There we go, and Steve Kerr. Coat of many colors, there we go. Author, Jonathan Safran, I wanna say Fower, I think. Uh, rough Up is Maul. They're placed in Lox's oars. Cry for help is uh, La Traviata. Okay, save us is the cry for help. Foot bones are tarsi. Donut shapes are, st I still do not know that. Secular, I think this is maybe, oops, laic, maybe. And prognosticate with a crystal ball. Oh, why can I not think of what this is? No, 
Prosticate with a crystal ball. Scry. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so, yeah, this is actually... Uh, you know, I don't love biblical references in general in the... In crosswords, just because, like, I don't know. I feel like that's alienating to a lot of people who don't know the Bible. <laughs> Um, but still, uh, people do know the, the Technicolor Dreamcoat, which I think is based off of this particular Bible story. I could be totally making that up, actually, but, um, either way, Coat of Many Colors is, um, guessable after you get a few letters, as, as was the case here. Um, especially once you've figured out, you know, white collar, green sleeves. I mean, it's, it's not hard to see what's happening here. Um but it is a, a pretty solid theme. Um, it makes sense. Uh, I do like each of the individual entries that are the, uh, the themed entries as well. Like white collar, just as a phrase, is a good phrase to have in there. Same with green sleeves, same with silver lining, same with yellow tails. Um, I also like the way that each one was clued. Um, I like the Upton Sinclair reference for White Collar. Um, I can't remember the name of uh, the book that that is most likely from. I haven't actually read it, but I do know Upton Sinclair wrote about like, you know, uh, just like he wrote about social, like class uh, problems and like, like especially lower class workers, right? And like, I can't remember the name of the book that I'm, uh, that is in my head. It's like on the tip of my tongue, but, um, uh, like uh, that's a good reference. I like the way that's clued. I like this, uh, reference of green sleeves, uh, as a, a, a traditional folk song played by British and Australian ice cream trucks. Like that's a, uh, that's just a fun little factoid. Uh, it's also very evocative. Um, it, uh, I think Green Sleeves is the song that goes like do 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 I think that's Green Sleeves. I could be wrong. I'm not a hundred percent confident in that. But like it does you know, having that clue just makes you think of ice cream truck music and that's fun. I like that. Um this is just a a brilliant little uh play on words here, upside when down for silver lining. And then uh, we have a sushi reference, so a, a Japan reference, yeah. Cro uh, you know, ticking that checkbox for uh, some of my favorite references to see in the crossword. Um, and so, uh, even though I don't actually like sushi very much, but <laughs> let's put that aside. Um, yeah, it was a fun puzzle. And then these bonus ones too. Uh, there's some long bonus fill in here for uh, secret plan, active role. Um, years later and La Traviata, uh, those, those are all pretty fun too. Like they're, these are good things. I also like, oh, I get it. <laughs> A line when you're late to the punchline. Like that was so quickly gettable after I saw the O-I. Oh, it's like, it's gotta be, oh, I get it. <laughs> Cause you could just, you just imagine someone just picking up on a joke that was like from five minutes ago and like, oh, I get it now. Uh, like that's, that's great. There's, there's some really fun stuff in here. This is a, a nice, really nice puzzle. Um, and, and right, just hitting that right difficulty level for, for Wednesday as well. Not too easy at all, uh, but also not too difficult. Just taking you a little bit of extra time to like work out what things could possibly be. Yes. I love it. Uh, man, I love crosswords. All right. I'll be back tomorrow to do the Thursday puzzle, so I do hope you'll join me. And um, if you haven't already, do uh, please hit the thumbs up for this video, because uh, that helps the channel get discovered. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.